And here uh, behind me there is the sign that uh, say welcome to Rubalcali. Uh, Rubalcali port and uh, King Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So I'm officially entering Saudi Arabia. And as you can see everything is uh, quite new. I mean uh, they just built everything around here and the palms are already died. I don't know why. Yes, because there is no water. This is the the most dry desert in the herd, on the herd, I think. And this is the Saudi flag, the green Saudi flag. The big green is the color of Islam. This is why the flag is green, anyway. Welcome to Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Oh, yes. And this is the border of Saudi, guys. This is the border. I'm entering inside. So I switch off now. See you in Saudi Arabia. Hey guys, my name is Ilario and I've been traveling the world since 2017, non-stop, on my old Vespa which dates from the 60s. Here is a brief synopsis from the start gate of 2017. After I crossed Europe, I took a ferry from Spain to Morocco, then I rode all the way down to South Africa and from there to Egypt, Cyprus, Turkey, Central Asia, Iran, all the countries of Arab Peninsula. And now, and now guys, I'm on the way to Australia and America, I mean, the plan is no plan, but this is the idea. And of course, with my style, with my Vespa, with my smile, with my tiny budget and always sharing my life with love. And I have even my friends from Bangladesh. How are you? Nice to meet you. They work here and uh, they just look at my Vespa because in Bangladesh there are a lot of Vespa. So there is, there is. Shukran. Bye bye. See you in Bangladesh. Something extremely typical from Saudi Arabia is uh, give water to everybody. Is, I mean, uh, is uh, written in the Quran to give water to the travelers or to everybody, to the thirsty people. And uh, so in Saudi Arabia, they offer you water just in case you need, because it's extremely hot. So you need water. Oh, can I take a video? Oh, look. Thank you, a lot, a lot. Thank you. And the worker of custom even gave me a left on iced tea and uh, a mango juice. So, I mean, and the other guy offered me a coffee, black coffee, and uh, I'm waiting the black coffee. So, man, this is the welcoming kit in Saudi Arabia. That's nice. I'm surprised. It's like to be in uh, a hall of a hotel because uh, this gentleman brought me other water. And as you can see in front of me, there is everything. I mean, tea, coffee, everything. So it's uh, really to buy and it's fresh. There is a AC, so it's nice. It's like to be in a hotel. Anova. What is it? Hotel or what? No, no, hotel. It's catering. Catering called Anova. And we are just at the border, it's not hotel. And this is what I collected here in the border. I had a, a beautiful lunch with a salad, Pepsi water, juices, croissant, coffee unlimited. And uh, now it's time to go because uh, it's almost five and the sun is uh, going down so i will enjoy a little bit more light hours and uh, and the cool temperatures i mean more or less the temperatures will be cool because they will be around uh, 30 degrees in the night but they told me i am very lucky because today there are no uh, desert, desert storms so and there, you can see, my Vespa is waiting for me. So it's time to go, to hit the road, guys. And here we are with the custom at, behind me. I think now we can really start the, the journey in the night, the night journey in the desert. This is the supermarket. There is even a supermarket here. And, uh, but the most important for me is the little gas station where I will fill up all my tanks, jerry cans, whatever, because for 300 kilometers will be just pure desert, nothing else. And here we are. This is uh, the, the gas station entry. And I am very lucky anyway today, really, there is no wind, thanks God. So I can save a lot of uh, petrol fuel because uh, if not, uh, everything changed. 
and here we are guys this is my 7 liters tank it's enough for 200 kilometers but it's not enough for to reach the next gas station so now we fill up this and after I have another one here one bottle plastic bottle but it's already filled up but I have to fill here other four liter so I think it will be enough to reach the other gas station so and the price here it's very cheap guys it's almost 50 cents of dollars per liter and this is snapchat guys <laughs> typical from Saudi a lot of snapchat everywhere when I stop they start to make some snapchat stories oh no the flag now is on it means that start to be windy no please I don't want to fight with the wind in the desert especially because if not I use much more benzene petrol and this is not good anyway this is Saudi Arabia guys and from here exactly from here with the dunes in the background and the sunset starts my journey and start Saudi Arabia Rubal Kali desert and uh, big adventure Ole, let's go let's anyway go. it's a wonderful feeling entering in the desert sand the dunes desert at the sunset and um, with my Vespa alone for almost 700 kilos the first dunes of the Rubal Kali this is the first line of dunes Ole. and there will be a lot of these a lot The temperature is uh, still warm guys, now it's sunset time but it's almost uh, 30, 35 degrees, wow, okay, Salva is 705 kilos, Salva is the first, uh, uh, let's say, village, Arya 1000 kilos, Mata 2000 kilos, okay, it, huge country, Saudi Arabia is a very huge country. You can see the direction now is uh, going exactly to east and there there is the sunset. This is the reason. And uh, imagine if I was here during the day with uh, the sun exactly up to my face. I, I mean, I, I die, I die. Let me tell you something about this uh, desert during the Sunset time, it's wonderful. The empty quarter is considered the biggest desert inhabited of the, the world. Inhabited, it means that there is no anybody. And this is the reason it's called the empty quarter. And the size is about uh, 1,000 kilometers by 600 kilometers. It means it's bigger than France. And this is the last moment I see the sun for a while, ciao. But why there is no anybody living here? No animals, no humans living here? Because it's uh, hyper dry, hyper dry. It means that uh, here the rain is less than uh, Death Valley. To be more precisely, here the rain is half than uh, the Death Valley in uh, Nevada, US. And so this is the biggest sand dunes inhabited of the world. And uh, it, cover, it covers about uh, Saudi Arabia, where mainly is, uh, it is here, but even a, a part of uh, Emirates, a part of Oman, and even a part of Yemen. And I am very lucky to be here today because uh, they opened this uh, road about uh, uh, six months ago, at the end of uh, uh, 2021. So I can say I am one of the first biker, foreigner bikers crossing this desert uh, with my Vespa, on my Vespa. Before they built this, uh, this road to cross from Oman to Saudi, you, you had to go to Emirates. It was a much longer way to go to Saudi from Oman before they built this, uh, this road. Anyway, look at the beautiful colors, guys. It's wonderful, wonderful lines, the dunes, they make these beautiful lines. Wow, to be honest, they don't need, it's very, 
dangerous cross the Rubakali in the night because uh, because of the night because the drivers can be crazy because there can be some camels even if it's the empty quarter there are some camels and uh, because uh, in the on the street on the road uh, there can be some uh, sand so it will be very dangerous uh, if I go with my little wheels in the middle of the sand uh, on the road so I have to be very very careful there is a strange light coming uh, from the road uh, it's a flashing light I don't know what is it because uh, in the desert with the flashlight I don't know let me check a bit because uh, I'm, okay, we are 60 kilometers far from the border, but I don't know. I didn't supposed to meet anybody. So let's see, maybe somebody. Oh, with a bicycle! <laughs> Magic! Glorious! This guy with a bicycle. For sure, a guy working uh, at the border. Today it's Friday, so I mean, uh, free time to go around in the desert with bicycle, why not? And do you know what is the biggest problem, guys? I'm crossing the Kali desert without oil in my engine because my Vespa is broken inside so I have no oil inside my engine and I can uh, bro break everything, everything of my engine but I'm risking, I'm going on and let's see what happened tonight in the desert let's see I am crazy, totally crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, and, uh, after 30 kilometers, I can tell you that the light falls and here, from here ahead, there are no more light falls. So it will be just desert and night. Really big night, and I didn't meet anybody except the cyclist. I didn't meet any car, any truck, and it will be very dark, even because the moon is very small tonight, so it will be very dark. Good, good. And I can start to see the silhouette of news and antennas. Ah, about antennas. There is internet connection for all these uh, roads, uh, but the problem is I don't have a SIM card, Saudi SIM card, so I'm not connected. After almost 60 kilometers, no car, no truck, nothing. And you know what I was thinking? That uh, during sunset time, even right, during right now, there are not mosquitoes, flies, smashing against my light. I mean, there are no insects, there are no animals at all. So, I mean, it's strange because if I was in Italy right now, I was full of mosquitoes on my face but here in the desert there is no one fly no one insect and uh, yes it is part of the, the game and after more than one hour I meet the first car one hour wow guys you know what happened I was on the road a car stopped me and gave me a, this car in front of me a Jewish three Jewish cold water and uh, tortina i don't know what is tortina i think a cake and the uh, dates of course dates a lot of dates this is amazing guys this is amazing and water i mean the middle of the night in the desert thank you thank you guys and you know what they told me that i am so lucky tonight because there, tonight there is no wind usually there are uh wind storms, sand storms, even during the night. And they know because they uh, are employers in the custom of Saudi Arabia. This is the reason they are going back now. And they told me, wow, you are so lucky tonight because there are, there is no wind. 
and uh, yes, there is no absolutely there is no wind. It's an amazing night, and I am here with my Vespa and my dates, everything. And well, dates are amazing. After I will eat uh, and call the stuff. This is so silent. There is a silent, incredible silence, and uh, the sky is full of stars. After I will take a picture. Amazing with my Vespa in the middle of the desert. And uh, in the middle of the desert, uh, suddenly there are some lights, and I think is uh, this kind of uh, uh, petrol, uh, I mean, a refinery or whatever. They extract petrol oil, I don't know, from uh, the ground. And uh, yes, you know what, guys. It's even started to be windy, so not too much, but I don't know, I hope uh, it will be okay for the next kilometers, but the wind uh, start to blow. Uh, let's see, let's see. And this is the road, guys. Okay, something uh, it was uh, better if uh, it would do not happen, but uh, it happened that uh, here, yes, I flat tire, my tire is down. I have to change here with the lights in the middle of nowhere, as you can see, the desert, look, oh, fuck off. But it would be fast. But wow, why in the night change the? Wow, I don't like change tires in the night. And this is the situation, guys. Now I change the wheel. But you know what? I'm a little bit worried because this tire is very hot, and this it means that the engine is very hot, and it can be very hot because there is not oil inside. And uh, if I put oil, it will be anyway. Uh, burn in 20 kilometers so i don't know what to do i uh, still have big problems with this engine and everything is connected even the tire even the flat tire can be connected with that because there is not oil inside the, the engine and this is not good anyway now i i change the problem this is a super tan uh, tire i mean this was even quite new compared with this but I don't have choice let's put this and let's go and you know one uh, tip I can give you is just to don't remove everything from Vespa and uh, leave it down is when you uh, push down Vespa it's better in a it's kind of ground a little bit steepy in this way so it will be fast and easier to wake it up the Vespa after if not it's almost impossible with the luggage so I leave the luggage and now I push up my Vespa okay here we are again guys let's go to the gas station now 60 kilometers far from the gas station Ole. Let's go, let's go. The petrol station, the only petrol station of this road. And now I will stop a while. I will uh, fill up my... I will fill up my tanks. I was uh, quite happy. Anyway, not at all, but... Yes, I need, I need even to take a rest right now maybe 10 minutes and uh, now I have to decide what to do to play and this is the gas station the only gas station you can meet on the road and here we are guys this is the only unique gas station of this road long 750 kilometers I've done uh, petrol fill up everything bottles plastic bottles extra tank extra jerry can my tank so i will uh, find i will reach the other gas station it's 350 kilometers far from here it's a long day because i started four this morning 4 a.m and i already done 650 kilometers now plus 
350 kilometers. It means that at the end, inshallah, I will uh, uh, cover about 1,000 kilometers today in more than 24 hours non-stop. This is because I want to enjoy the temperatures. Right now, the temperature is cool, but tomorrow morning with the sun, it will be like 45 degrees. And for me, it's impossible. So I will push myself, I will continue the road, and you can imagine here we are in the desert in the biggest uh, inhabited uh, desert of the world i mean around here is just dunes 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 and this is the only petrol station of this long new road they built few months ago i mean it's incredible where i am it's 11 uh, p.m and uh, wow amazing i mean look amazing i am here in the in this gas station okay i will push myself and now i will continue for other 350 kilometers it means allowed about six hours wow you know what i want to do guys because this is a magic night for me this is a magic place i mean in the middle of the desert with my vespa i want to, i want to have a souvenir with me a physical souvenir material so i will use this uh, plastic bottle and uh, to take a bit of sand so i mean i usually i don't never take sand or sand or whatever because i don't want extra weight but this is a very magic place so i really want to have a souvenir and uh, here there is a look this is the road and the dunes is just here one uh, sand dunes so you know what i do i do like this Four of sand oh, I hope there are no scorpions if not they come to around the, the world with me and the sand is very yellow anyway guys really yellow okay it's enough this is my souvenir from the the oh Tanya Tanya it was the name of my girlfriend 10 years together okay anyway uh, i don't want to be romantic but it's strange i mean the plastic battle with the name you, she will see it thinks about me she's thinking about me anyway romantic moment with the tanya and the sand of the the rubarkali i go i go so now 320 kilometers to Bata. 320 kilometers it means like uh, six and a half hours if i don't stop i will arrive to Pata. but i will stop because i have to fill up the tank look at this guys this caterpillar removing sand from the road i hope there is no sand on the road now because uh, i'm pretty tired I stopped now one moment here to add some uh, fuel in the tank and uh, I've never seen in my life the uh, Milky Way so beautiful, so clear. I've never seen in all my life, really. And um, another thing that uh, impressed is I can hear the sound of the airplanes because you see the lights few lights far away and you can even hear the noise i mean when you can hear the noise of airplane when they are so high it means that here it's, uh, it's extremely silent and uh, wow dark and it's a very strange weird feeling because you've never been like this never when was your last time for example when you can hear the airplanes in the night or see the milky way so clear anyway it's about uh, 180 kilometers to bata it means three hours it means that uh, after six i will arrive inshallah almost the sunrise guys almost the sunrise
this beautiful sunrise, guys. I think it's almost done. I mean, it really means well, I just a few kilometers. Look, beautiful sunrise, guys. In the desert. In the silence. Let's go before then. Uh, this guy will be very, very hot. So it's good. And the border is 120 kilometers far from here and now is a good time to go there because it's not hot yet so maybe I add 120 kilometers to the border with Qatar and then I take a rest so it will uh, really be the longest ride of my tour since now till now because it will be more than 1000 kilometers and uh, wow and uh, yes, and anyway, Rubakali is finished guys. The, the long road in the middle of Rubakali, I think it's ended with this junction. So I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed it a lot anyway. Even, uh, yes, even with uh, some problems with uh, this part of the game. So now we continue for other 120 kilos. Ole! If my story has sparked your curious side and you would like to ask questions, share travel tips or even contribute to this wild journey, you are most welcome, even to make a donation by PayPal or by one of my personally designed creations from my online shop in the link below. And finally, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell of my YouTube channel. Ah, and join me on the other socials. Ciao!